Volunteer firefighters are the heroes of your neighborhood. They're willing to get up, uh, work all day, get up in the middle of the night, and possibly save your home and family. And you can be one of them. Earl Dempsey is with the Delaware Volunteer Firefighters Association, and you're in charge of recruitment, right? That's correct. So uh, I, I work on a, uh, the program for statewide recruitment and retention with the Delaware Volunteer Firefighters Association, really trying to get the word out, uh, both bringing in new members into the service as well as hanging on to the ones that we have. And you're a volunteer firefighter yourself I'm in a volunteer, Magnolia. Am I, that's correct. It's a special breed of person. It is a special breed. The, the, the thing that's said about, about them or about us is that uh, when folks are running away from the emergency, we're the runs that are charging towards it. Um, and it's a, it takes a unique person to be able to do that. It's something in the DNA. It, it's something, there's a hero gene that <laughs> that's people, some people have and other people don't have. It is, uh, you know, we, when we talk to young firefighters that come in, one of the questions that we, we ask them is, you know, why are you here? What, what is it that you want? And commonly we hear, I want to make a difference. I want to help out in my community. Um, no one says, I want to be a hero, uh, but they see the opportunity to help their friends, their family, their neighbors, the folks around them. And, and they're willing to put forth that time and in some cases put themselves in danger to do it. I think a lot of times volunteer firefighters for, for some reason aren't top of mind. They, they know you're there, they know you help, they assume you'll be there, but you need more than that. We, we need more than that. So, you know, a couple of things I'll say to that is, you know, we, our state has seen a, a tremendous change in population, a shift in population over recent years to where we are having a lot of folks moving into Delaware uh, from out of state. And in a lot of cases, the places they're coming from, um, it's been a more urban environment and they are used to having a paid fire service, um, paid emergency response that's there all the time. Um, and for the, to hear that they're covered by volunteer service, as you said earlier, they, they get up from their the meals with their family. They get up from bed in the middle of the night to rush to help out whoever it is in need. They, that they uh, don't even know. They that, just, that they they don't just even know, know they need help. And, and they don't know in a lot of cases what it is that they're walking into. We'll, you'll get uh, basic details. It's a, it's a house fire. It's a, an EMS emergency. It's a, a, a car accident. But really you don't know. You have no idea what it is you're, you're getting into until you get there and see it yourself. How do they get involved? So um, they get involved by getting in touch with their local volunteer fire company and, uh, and joining. Uh, one thing that we've done from a statewide perspective to try to get that message out and to make it easier for folks is we've kind of branded our recruiting efforts through firefighter.delaware.gov. Uh, we've set up a, a specific website for recruiting. Uh, we've actually got a presence on social media, especially through Facebook for folks to be able to reach out to number one to get some information on joining uh, the requirements, the benefits, and as well to, to contact us. They say service is its own reward, but there's, a, there's more to it than that. There's a, there's a brotherhood and there's events that go with it. There, there, there's definitely a brotherhood and I'll say that we have, uh, the Delaware uh, Volunteer Fire Service has great support from the state, uh, especially from our, our legislature and our elected officials. Um, they really recognize the value and they've done a few things over recent years to, to help out with that. You know, we get uh, volunteer firefighters get a $400 tax credit a year uh, just for their time, which by no means offsets or pays for their time, but you know, it helps offset things like the gas, to, you know, driving back and forth to the station. Uh, one of the most recent things was that um, uh, legislature part with debt partnered with DENREC and the Department of Natural Resources and offered every volunteer firefighter uh, the opportunity to get a surf fishing tag uh, at no cost. Uh, and it's things like that that, yes, so uh, there's no real extrinsic rewards that really come with it other than those smaller things. There should but be more of those things because they, you deserve to be paid back for what, for what you do, absolutely. Give the information again how people can join up. And by the way, I said brotherhood, I shouldn't have said that. Yeah. I'm sure it's a brother and sisterhood. It, it is, and it's interesting. I, I go to every basic firefighting class now. We have twice a year, it's the very first class to folks to get started in the fire service. And uh, usually there's about 150 students there. And I would say now, you know, at least 40, if not close to 50% of them, you know, it's, it's young women, it's ponytails, and it's just great to see that we're reaching out to, to that demographic as well. Give the website one more time. Firefighter.delaware.gov. Reach out. Anything you want to know, you can either find there or you can contact us and we'll get you the info. Thank you so much. Thanks Thank for you what you do. Thank you very much. I really appreciate, appreciate being it. here. Earl Dempsey, Delaware Volunteer, Volunteer Firefighters Association. Uh, you heard where to go if you want to join.
How about a bicycle as your primary form of transportation? Think what that would do for the environment. We'll talk more about that when we come right back.